guys, the sun is shining today. I don't think it was supposed to shine, but it is. We are on our way to a brunch place. The brunch place is called Sunday in Soho, and we found it on Google and looked it up on Instagram, and it looked really good. So, the three of us are going there now. That place was really, really good, and the staff spoke English, so <laughs> bonus for that. <laughs> uh, fortunately for me, Zach is really good in French, so he will carry me through this trip with his French, because um, I know nothing. We are going to the area where the Eiffel Tower is, because they also have a lot of nice stores, and they're open today. I specifically very much want to go to Brandy Melville, because I always find really good basics there, and they have one in that area. We're waiting on the bus, so we'll do a little OOTD. I thrifted this one yesterday. Pants are sex pets. Bag is decadent. Sunglasses are in other stories, and my little ballerina flats are H&M. Okay, Zach, go. Sunglasses are a monopoly. The shirt, I got that from Supreme a couple of days ago. Acne Studio. Jay Milton. <laughs> Shout out. Shout out. Uh, Levi's. Adidas. Samba. Yeah. Mom, do you want to make one? No. no. <laughs> to a pharmacy because apparently they have a lot of good like skincare stuff in France. It's also pretty cheap compared to at home. I have one moisturizer that I love from Ambriolis. Ambriolis. Um, and you can get it at home but it's a bit cheaper here because it's a French brand and you can buy it in the pharmacy and it's so good and now my mom has found like some stuff that is supposed to like remove pimples and stuff and it's like supposed to be really good so we just bought it and we're gonna try it out and see if it works i love stuff like that we're doing something crazy today guys something that has never happened before in the uh, 20 times i've been to paris in my life we're entering the eiffel tower Zach has been to Paris six times and he has been in the Eiffel Tower, so I don't really know what went wrong. Well, I went the first time I was here. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Mom, why have we never gotten into the Eiffel Tower? <laughs> she says that she's sorry, but better late than never. <laughs> also, um, we're watching a classical concert thing in there, up there. Uh, don't really know what that is, but we are doing that, so that's exciting. We'll see what it is, I have no idea. Traveling the Eiffel Tower. It was a very nice concert. Very nice. And they were so good and it sounded really nice. So 10 out of 10 and then we got to see the Eiffel Tower. Now Zach and I are struggling with finding a place to eat. And we're really hungry. And we don't really know what we want. And also I think this area is kind of overpriced because of the touristy stuff that's or the touristy thing that's here. So uh, we'll try to find something that's not here. Update! 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 We found a place! <laughs> <laughs> we found a place to eat um, and now we are commuting with the uh, underground train. The metro? And then we 
not gonna go eat. So I'm very hungry and um, I'm not gonna tell you where we're going. It's a surprise. See you at the restaurant. We're having fun. the last full day in Paris. We have found a brunch place yet again and it is 15 minutes from our hotel and we're walking there now. We're just gonna enjoy the last day in Paris. are currently waiting for the bus because we're going to Montmartre. Today is Labor Day mm -hmm. and so all the things, pretty much all the things are closed. So I think we're just gonna walk around and do some sightseeing. Do you know where we're going after? No, I don't know what we're going after. I don't either. No, we don't have any plan today so we'll just figure it out as the day goes by. <laughs> I guess in a cozy mood. I have never been in this place with so much chaos. Everyone else got the same idea as we did today. My mom had a colleague that had a, an apartment in Paris and it was here. So we have stayed here so many times. I have never seen so many people once here. I know that it's like it's a tourist attraction and there's usually a lot of people but never this much. This is insane. Like it's not nice. It's actually uncomfortable. We are done with Montmartre and now we are headed to Champs-Élysées. Also, they say that it's gonna rain and it definitely looks like it's gonna rain. It started pouring rain when we went into the bus and it was awful and then now we're out and it stopped so that was perfect. I just had a little time out at the hotel room because this weather just got insanely bad. But now the sun is shining again so Zach and I are on the hunt for a cute Parisian cafe yeah. to take some pictures for Instagram. And also then... to, to have a cup of coffee. Oh yes, <laughs> uh, also that. And we brought the umbrellas in case. Yeah, just in case this weather continues because what the fuck. We're cafe scouting. Trying to find the most uh, insta-worthy cafe in Paris. <laughs> Let's go. Just sat down. <laughs> <laughs> Merci. The lighting is so good. Yeah, I thought we were gonna walk around for hours but trying to find one. Yeah, we, we forgot Paris is Paris. So of yeah. course there's amazing cafes and restaurants all over. The hard thing is to find good lighting and a place where nobody else is like sitting around you and disturbing the picture. And yeah. there's a lot of things that goes into those pictures, guys. Now we've ordered some cake and some coffee and that's gonna be delicious. are done at the cafe and it was really nice. We did not know of it, we just found a random one. We have quite some time to kill because we are in the area. I don't think I've told you, but we reserved a table 
for a restaurant called Opa Mama and it is kind of like a chain with different restaurants and we went to one called Pink Mama and that was so good so we wanted to try this one out because we've seen it on Instagram it looks really good we have to be there in one hour exactly one hour and it takes like, I think half, like an hour. half an hour away so we're just wandering around Down that building. I don't know what this is, but it looks pretty. <laughs> yeah, and we're slowly walking there, and then we're gonna have a an amazing last dinner. Not last forever, but last for now. <laughs> guys that was so freaky <laughs> we are done eating now and that place was so good the biggest recommendation of this trip honestly and the whole place and like the vibe of it, it was so like put together and that toilet was just everything <laughs> that was a 10 out of 10 10 out of 10 that was amazing now the plan is to just go home and pack the suitcases and then get ready to leave tomorrow <laughs> Guys, we nearly landed in a demonstration. And you do not want to do that in France. A violent demonstration. <laughs> a violent demonstration, yes. Uh, the 1st of May apparently is uh, known for the day. Fighting? They're destroying this beautiful city. I don't like it. I don't know if you can see it, guys, but they went on the street that our hotel is. So everything is like... They're burning the trash and like this whole street is just a mess right now. Oh. Also stole it there. Ej, ej, ej. De må få test derovre, tror jeg. Okay, guys, after all of this, I think it would only be appropriate to do a little haul of what I got in Paris. I've been wearing these sunglasses. I got them from... Three seconds. They're back! And the vlog continues. Sunglasses, I got them from in other stories. I have an addiction for little ballerina flats. I have these in black from H&M, but then I found these ones that are like sparkly, goldish kind of. I'm obsessed with them. When uh, we went out thrifting, I got this one that I wore yesterday. I think the story to this is that someone <coughs> washed it the wrong way, so it shrunk, um, but it fits me, so. That's a win. Or my mom thrifted this one for me, which is like a cardigan kind of thing. Like, it's really cute. And this one is pretty similar. It's just another fabric. Like putting this over a bikini or something. And then I got this kind of like off shoulder thingy from Randy Melville. I also got just a new basic white t-shirt to show you. I got this one that I, I think I also wore this yesterday morning, but I gave up on my bangs because it just looked a bit weird. I got the inspo off of someone on Pinterest and I just want to find the picture. I don't know if you can see, but she kind of has it in one of these things and it looks really cute. So that's where I got the inspo. And I think that's everything I got in Paris. Wait, no! I got my absolute favorite moisturizer. I got this one and it is good for pimples and 
uh, fine lines. And I also got this one, which is really good for dry spots. I'm always very dry around my nails. You can put it on your lips. I don't think I bought anything else. Did I buy anything else? Hi, I just wanted to quickly interrupt because I did forget some stuff. So we'll continue this haul now. I thrifted this long knitted skirt. Also thrifted this Burberry shirt, a very classy one. And then last but not least, I found these, they're really long shorts. Like they go to an awkward length and I love it. Also very excited to style those and um, that was it. Continue the vlog. Okay guys, that was everything for this little uh, Paris haul. And also for this uh, video because tomorrow we're going home very early. So uh, I don't think we're gonna get to do anything. I hope you enjoyed these couple of days. I definitely did and um, it is not the last Paris vlog at all. See you in my next video. Bye. Bye. Bye.